Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name's Nicole, and this is the Bunley Design Studio Slow Stitching Saturday. And today we are working a little bit more on my Birdsville cushion, which I haven't done much on. So I'm just going to do some back stitching and maybe attach a couple of leaves. I do I do have nearly all the leaves done. I do have some of the little light green ones left to do, um, but I seriously haven't been able to touch any of this in the last couple of weeks because I've just been super busy preparing for retreats and all the things basically have been happening. And to be honest, I haven't really been in the mood to do any sort of um, embroidery and stuff like that. So, but I'm here today and we're going to get some of that done. But the first thing I, I want to tell you about before we start working on that is I'm going to give you an update on the um, Sashko. So I am almost done. So I've only got this little part here to go and I've just been doing a little bit here and there. So when I'm sitting down with my um, hubby watching TV in the evening, I've been doing it. But he hasn't been home for the last couple of um, weeks in the evening because he's been busy with work because it's just a crazy time here at the moment um, for him. And we're trying to work around rain. So he's been, when it hasn't been raining, he's been over at the workshop and he's been doing some stuff at night. So we haven't done a lot of TV watching together. So it sort of took the back burner. So that's sort of the project that I've been working on because I don't really need to have all the things out. I just have my little box that has all my threads in it and then, um, yeah, and then I just put some stitches in. So I'm really loving how it's turning out. Like, as you can see, it is, um, it's, it's very, it's starting to just really come together. I'm just absolutely loving it. Um, and for those that um, have not been here before and haven't seen the Sasha Co, this was one of the first projects I started for slow stitching that day and it has taken me a little while because it is very slow going and this has all been done by hand including the um the first border that I put on and there is a video showing you how to put this on by hand so you can see there that it's hand stitched on and it looks no different than machine sewing um, and if you're a left-handed person there's also some tips and tricks in there for you for that one as well um, so yeah so basically I've just been cruising along and doing doing all the things and just playing around with the patterns and everything this has really like it's become quite strengthened um I'll just take my jewelry off because it's banging and that'll get annoying um yeah so basically um yeah it's really strengthened it up and I'm really looking forward to actually um hand sewing all the borders on and basically that's all I'm going to do. Like I will probably, I am going to um, put a backing onto this. So I've, I've put where I've um, finished, I've already put some uh, stabilizer on it. It's not necessary to do that, but I'm, I was just doing that because um, I put the border on. But I don't have a lot to go. Um, it's a cold and miserable day here today. We've had a lot of rain and whatnot. So I might end up watching a movie with my husband because he's not going to work today because he just can't do anything at the workshop. Um, it's just, it's just, it'll turn into a mud pit. So we'll probably end up watching a movie later on this afternoon. So I might end up getting some more stitches into this today. Um, yeah, and I'll probably take this away. As you know, I'm going to retreat next week. So I might even take this away with me to retreat and just to have a bit of a break, um, from cross stitching. I'll do some of this maybe in the evening after dinner or something like that. Usually when your eyes are tired because you don't really need to be 100% accurate with this because that adds to the charm to it. So it's getting close. I know that I haven't done a, an update for a while so I might put that needle in the center so it doesn't get me. <laughs> um, yeah so I know I hadn't done an update for a while so I thought you know I better update you and as you can see it folds right down um, I have a couple of project ideas next year that I want to do. Um, I want to look at making a piece of clothing and I also want to look at making a bag. So I'm in the process of drawing up that pattern and everything. So you guys will get the pattern as well and then you can have a go at it. It's probably, um, it's a little ways off yet because I do have to... Um, do a few other things first we've got some more embroidery and stuff like that 
All right, so um, if you've been watching my crafting with Dee Dee's, and I will just grab it, bear with me for a second. Um, I started doing some raised embroidery on the channel for crafting with Dee Dee's. And so um, if you want this pattern, you can get this pattern for free. So I haven't done much more on this because, I, as I said, I bet if you've been... If you watch all my videos, you know that I've been pretty busy lately. So, um, yeah, you can head over to our website and I'll leave a link down below where you can find this pattern. And, um, yeah, I think I might just turn that light up a little bit. Give me a bit. Oh, it's already up. There we go. So, um, yeah, you can see there that we've got um, it's a, a raised embroidery and it'll be a wreath so you can um, hang it on your wall and whatnot and it'll be finished in the hoop. Um, so basically I will readjust this and move this little bit up here. I may even stain the hoop and um, if I do any anything like that, how I finish it and whatnot, I'll do that as a tutorial. Now this is also slow stitching so you can um, go over to the website, grab that pattern and if you're looking for something to do today, you can um, play along with this. So that's just stem stitch on the um, on the the branches of the reef and then we've just got um satin stitch there and that's just two passes um through the the um fabric and that gives you your leaves okay so if you're looking for something to do today um head over and grab that i'm probably i'm i'm probably going to take this with me too um up to the retreat on the weekend i like to take a couple of different styles of needlework with me when i'm doing that sort of stuff and then that way i um I'm good to go. All right, now I am looking for my needle, which I seem to have misplaced. So that is not here because I have thread and no needle. So I don't know what's going on there. So how has everyone been? And as you can hear, I have a microphone on, so it is nice and clear and I can get up and walk around and my voice doesn't disappear. Um, so yeah. That's a good thing that finally came in. I haven't got the second camera at the moment because that is giving me lots of grief. It is keeps, it's an old phone. I think it's a Note 8. So it's it's older. Um, and so basically it's um, only now filming 15 minutes at a time. And then it cuts out. So I'm back to the drawing board again. Um, and apparently my husband is going to be... Um, He's going to be getting a new phone, so I will end up with his um, his phone, thankfully. Um, so hopefully he'll do that in the next couple of weeks, and then I'll be back to two cameras again. Um, so, yeah, so in the meantime, we'll just have to deal with what we've got. You can still see what I'm doing. You can still hear what I'm doing. And did that thread properly? No. <laughs> okay, the other week I got asked, I will just cover some questions Um since the last time I was on. So the other week I was asked where I got this um, this needle thread from. I got this in a, um, I think it was a chart that I ordered and I can't remember where I ordered it from, but it came in a parcel. Um, and I've got se several of these that have come in parcels and whatnot. And I do have one that is actually a needle minder as well as a threader and it's got a little skeleton on that. And I got that from... Gina's needle minders on Facebook years ago so I don't even know if she stocks them anymore but um yeah I occasionally these come in um little packs and I sometimes when I get my needles because I get buy all my needles on AliExpress I'll get two or three of these little needle minders that come with them and then I just um yeah I just put them aside and then I've got them I find that these are the best ones to use for um, cross stitch, for this sort of embroidery, um, just threading your needles in general, it just makes life so much easier because it goes through and they don't break. Um, I did have another one that I got from Heaven and Earth Design that was a wire one, and um, that was that was really good too. But again, it, over time, it sort of gets a little bit weak. And yeah, it's not. It doesn't longevity. It doesn't work. And whereas these. I've not had any of these break ever, so that's, yeah, that's always a bonus. All right, so today, as I said, we're just going to do some back stitching, have a little bit of a chit-chat, bit of a catch-up. So grab a cuppa. I've got my cuppa here, and I've got it to the side so I don't dip <laughs> my project in it. 
and um, I'm just going to spend a little time with you today um, doing a little bit of back stitching. So um, hopefully you can see this clearly and we're just going to um, stitch down my start stitching down my tree um, and get most of this done. Again this is come becoming very quickly becoming um, my it's going to become my nighttime in the um, evenings when I'm watching a bit of TV with my hubby, I can um, stitch this. So that is the plan um, to get all the trees stitched down sooner rather than later. And, you know, I can, once it's stitched down, I can start adding some of the leaves and whatnot. And I'm just following the, the picture basically um, that's on here. I've still got a lot more felting and stuff to do. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to plod along and, and get it done as well as best as I can and um, yeah so hopefully you'll stick around for a little while and um, stitch along with me and we can join each other every Saturday morning um, and I know that we've had a couple where I've missed and that's just because it, it is a very busy time of year and anybody that has followed me for a while um, you and you're also following my booktube um, channel you know that my books have slowed down like they're at the beginning of the year when things aren't as busy with the family and stuff I tend to read a lot more and um, talk about more books and whatnot at the moment I'm only talking about one book a week and I've slowed right down but I have met my goal that I set for myself um, because last year I read I think it was 110 108 books so I figured well I read 108 books I should be able to read 110 this year so I set my goal and I passed that um, at the beginning of middle of September and I'm now um, I've now logged 122 books and I you know that's that's Kindle books audio books um, physical books and sometimes I'll read a book that is um, mixed so like I'll do both audio and reading the physical I love reading my classics that way um, it's just a great way to get immersed into the story all right this is a little bit of a dangerous project with all these bins in it but I can sort of understand why she hasn't glued this down because it doesn't tell it doesn't say to glue it down in the it says to pin it down and so it, you can adjust it and whatnot so basically yeah it's it's a very hectic time of year at the moment and I'm trying to get as much as I can get done and um, I've been chasing my tail a little bit in the last couple of weeks but I'm now allocate as I said I'm just allocating this once I've finished the sash code this will go to my nighttime stitch and then we'll get it done a little bit quicker um, you know, I can do some prep during the day of cutting out stuff and then I can just sit there and do the little bits of embroidery and whatnot. So next week's um, video, um, hopefully I'll have time during the week and I'll get it filmed. If I don't get it filmed, I, you know, don't, don't be surprised. I am away at retreat next week, but I am endeavouring to um, get it done. Um, I've got time allocated for Monday. <laughs> for it so hopefully I can I can film it then so yeah so for the foreseeable future we're going to be working on the tree <laughs> this is a hectic project like it is it is a big project um I sort of need a smaller needle because I'm gonna end up I wonder where my other needles are just bear with me for a sec this needle's just a little bit too big. I had it in my hand earlier, so I don't know what I've done with it. It must be here somewhere. Here we go. I found it. It's over near my computer. <laughs> oh, it's one of those. It's Saturday morning, people. Like, it's Saturday morning. Give me a break. <laughs> All right, let's, let's thread this up and um, stitch with this like I haven't found that um, it's hard to stitch with the cross stitch needles it goes through the felt really nicely um, if my nails just get out of the way and I can thread that um, yeah that's better Although my thread's just about to die I think yeah. 
All right, let's get a little bit more out of this. So it's it still goes through because you're not going through like interfacing or anything either. So you're just going through the edge and you want to get as close to the edge of the felt as you can without going on the fabric, okay? So because you can see here. But I think that's going to add to the um, – like she hasn't done any – Oh, she's done a couple down the bottom here. She's done some stitching, but I wouldn't mind like putting a knot in the tree, like getting a little bit, you know, just sort of making it my own. I don't mind that I, you know, you do it where you're just copying what's going on. There's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes it's nice to just make things your own. And then I'm just going to weave it on the back. Sorry, I probably pulled that off camera then. Um, my camera's up really high at the moment. And I'll just pull that off the back. And then um, I will just snip. I will snip when I find my scissors. Don't know where they went. Okay, these ones aren't that sharp, so we'll, we'll give them a go. All right, oh, there they are. So I love these scissors, these vintage-looking scissors. And now I've got these. Um, so uh, uh, November 15, all the what's left over after the retreats will be going up on the website. I don't have any of these on the website yet, but keep an eye out. I do have more stock coming. Um, so, yeah, you will see them a little bit um, in the future on, the, um, on our website. Now, I do have some th exciting things coming up. So you will need to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it. Um, so you can get your updates with on my Stitch With Me's and all that sort of stuff. We always have sort of um, updates of what's happening in the, with the channel and stuff like that. And we talk about other stuff too. It's not all about updates and, and um, whatnot. But I do have some exciting stuff planned for next year, one of which is retreats that will be starting back up again. Um, I'm just waiting on the confirmation of dates. Um, so why is this not playing with me? I need to get my magnifiers on to see what's going on. Sometimes I can get a dodgy needle and the eye is very narrow and or starting to break. And I think this is one of my old needles by the looks of it. So we'll see how long it lasts. And um, it doesn't seem to be broken. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. I was sitting there, I was talking and, and um, I was talking with some friends online and I'm chatting away and I'm trying to thread this needle, um, not this particular needle, but trying to thread a needle to do my cross stitching and, you know, just chatting away and I'm like threading it and the thread was coming out and I thread it and, keep, and I did this for about five minutes, the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. <laughs> basically what happened was it had broken the needle was actually broken and um <laughs> yes <laughs> I, the eye of the needle was broken and I didn't realize that because I was too busy, busy talking and um yeah and I kept trying to thread it and it wasn't until like I don't know I must have done it for like about five minutes I felt like such a twat afterwards it was so hilarious though and then I'm just like mm, okay that's not going to work if the eye of the needle is broken. Of course, you're not going to be able to thread it, Nicole. But, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Just one of those moments where you go, oh, you really probably shouldn't be doing this stuff today. <laughs> so when I take a needle out, I just move it to somewhere else just so it holds the tree down. Um, just be warned that this is quite a deadly little tree at, at the stage it's in right now. I have pricked myself so many times. It's unbelievable. And, and I'm trying not to prick myself on camera because the F-bomb usually follows it and I don't want to do that because that's just offensive to people that don't like to hear that sort of language and I, I'm respectful of your feelings and I don't want to um, do that to you. Um, occasionally I will um, be doing a video and all the rest of it and I have to edit it out. I'll, you know, accidentally clip myself with <laughs> <laughs> a needle or something like that I try to edit those bits out um yeah all right so lots have been happening we now have a high school graduate she had her last day yesterday um and the poor thing she got actually had to come home for um about two hours because she felt really ill um and so she come home and she had a shower and um 
just had to lay down for two hours and uh, she was a lot better and so she went back to school after that so she was happy she got to finish the day out she missed two hours but she got back to school which was great and then she um, went down to Macca's last night. She doesn't study at home because she gets distracted by the things in her room. She's very disciplined when it comes to her study. Um, so she goes down to Macca's, she puts her headphones on and she'll study down there. Um, and I'm happy for her to do that. She just goes down there. She uses their Wi-Fi and does what she needs to do. And gets all. She does her assignments down there, everything. And it's, that's her go-to place when the library's not open. Other than that, she'll go to the library and do all that sort of stuff, which is good. And then, you know, like she doesn't, as she said, she gets distracted. And, um, you know, I think that's really good that she's learnt that she gets distracted in her room with all her things. So she's better off removing herself, which is great. And not only that, I distract her too, being out here talking and, and filming and all that sort of stuff. Because her room's um, right next to my um, craft room. I actually, um, like for those that don't know, my craft room is my veranda. So a veranda is a porch for those in America and because um, I know that people call it different in different places, but a veranda is essentially your porch and we've closed it in and I've turned it into my studio. So I've got my long arm machine out here um, and all the rest of it. So it's attached to the front of the house and her, uh, her bedroom and my bedroom are at the front of the house. So I actually have a door from my bedroom that comes out, but that's blocked off with shelving now. And then her window, she's got two windows in her room that come out onto this. One of them is blocked off with a design wall. Um, so I've, um, I've put a piece of, I think it's marine ply, and I've covered it with uh, some wadding and I just use that as a design board and you've probably seen it occasionally um in videos and stuff like that um from ages ago when I had um used to film out here and I had the flat tables before I put all the benches in um so yeah so you've probably seen it before if you've been around for a while but it doesn't it very rarely makes an appearance on um the camera these days but it's good because I can put all my things that I'm working on and uh, fabric choices. I sometimes take swatches and put the fabric choices up on there and just leave them there for a couple of days and just look at them every now and again um, and uh, see if they're still gelling with my idea in my head. Um, so, yeah, so she's got that. And then one window is um, open still. So quite often... I'll be talking to friends online or I'll be on the phone and this little head, like a little jackrabbit, just pops up. <laughs> Scares the bejesus out of me. <laughs> it really does. So, yeah, um, it's quite amusing. But, yeah, so I am quite distracting to her, and she, which is good that she knows that, so she just sorts herself out and, and whatnot. But, yeah, so she's now, um, she starts her exams on Monday, I think she said, and then she's got three weeks of exams and then her last exam is on her the day of her formal so formal um what do you call it in um in a in the u.s um i think you call it the prom senior prom so yeah so she's got that coming up and then it, we will be looking for somewhere for her to live down in Brisbane so she can start uni next year. And that's so it's a very exciting time for the Miss Savannah. Um, so, yeah, it's really good. I'm, I'm really happy. But, yeah, so she did that yesterday and and um, she's been working with her dad too, but she's not. I don't think they're going to work. Well, I know that Brendan's not going to work today, because, so I don't think she's going to be going either. Um, there's no point there's nothing really she can do out in the yard in the rain and I don't want her getting sick just before exams so relax and chill out and yeah enjoy the day get some reading done so I've got a lot of filming that I'm, I'm doing some batch filming today because I've got a big week of sewing and whatnot and quilting next week so I'm doing some of my batch filming um yeah now, now, next week is on, I'm doing, um, so as you know, for Crafting with DDs, we've been doing the Halloween mini quilt wall hanging 
Okay, um, that is coming into the last week of it. I can't believe it's been four weeks since I started talking about it. But um, yeah, so that has come into, we're coming into the last week. Now, originally I was going to do it all on the Thursday as um, a one complete video, the last block and the finishing. I've decided to split that up. So um, on Wednesday, we will do the final block. And then on Thursday, um, we will do the final assembly. Um, and it's pretty basic. It's it's not overly complicated, complicated or anything like that. It's a basic finishing. Um, so, yeah, but it's just there for those that are beginners. Um, anybody that's advanced, I mean, you can go ahead and, and finish it however you want to. But I'm just doing basic sashing and borders on that. And, um, yeah, so just it's going to be a very casual video. Um, and um, I do have another camera here, but it doesn't have a flip screen on it. So I can't see if it's angled properly. So I've got to get a little mirror to just put behind it to make sure that I'm still in frame and whatnot. But I haven't been able to find a small enough mirror. Like they're all been huge. So hopefully I might be able to use it. I'll see how I go. Um, but again, that one, that only films for 15 minutes too and then cuts out. So I have to be very mindful of the timer and stuff like that. Right. That's going to look good. Like, And it doesn't pucker either. Like I, I thought with no stabiliser on the back that it might like bunch up a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. I, I am being very mindful of making sure that it's laying flat and all that sort of stuff. Um, I know that a couple of people have, and I didn't write down names, so I do apologise for that. But I do know that um, a couple of people have been um, diving into this. They've got their supplies and, and um, are very happy with their progress. They've been just going along. Um, you guys will probably finish before me. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff on the go at the moment. But I'm happy just to do a little bit at a time and just mix up my, my projects and, you know, come on and have a bit of a chat with you and, and stuff like that um I was on a um over on my booktube channel I participate in a few um what they call reading sprints and I'm actually participating in one right now so basically what they do they have a little bit of a chit chat and then they put up a timer and you read for that amount of time um <clears throat> obviously I'm filming they um the one that I'm on now is Reading with Merb and Meredith does reading and productivity sprints. So a lot of times she does them um, during the week when I'm doing filming and stuff like that and it really keeps me on task. Like I love it, absolutely love it. It just, I I get really productive and I just, yes, I, I might have like bulk editing to do so I will when she does the clicks the camera over I will just um start editing and I try to get everything that I need to get edited in that time frame and so yeah so it's oh, it, can I get it to come through no split booker 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 <laughs> Mm, maybe get it come back out. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Ugh. There we go. Got it. All right, I'm just going to leave that there and I'll deal with that a bit later because that's going to be tweezers and all sorts of things happening with that one. All right, I need some more thread. Yeah, so um, and I was just on her, her um, stream. Is that the right one? No, that's not the right one. That's not brown. That's not that. Three nine, is that it? No, that's too dark. Or three. Oh, there we go. Eight nine eight. There we go. Note to self, Nicole. <clears throat> eight nine eight. I'll know now because it's on here. I'll just grab my pencil and actually write it, just so I don't forget. All right. Uh, where is it? There it is. going to write on the back here uh, tree floss 
8, 9, 8. And I'm using CXC, so it'll be the same colour in DMC for those playing at home. All right, so I'll put that over there. At least that's written on there now, and um, I'm good to go. All right, so I know a few people are going to ask about this now that they've seen it. This is a tutorial on the channel. I will link it up down below for you um, so you can go and make it. You can see there that this holds a ton, and it's got room to hold more, and it opens quite up quite a bit. So this is my um, annotation, reading, um, highlighting, all that sort of stuff has it in it, and, you know, it has pens and whatnot in it, so I can just take it with me. And, um, yeah, so that is... Yeah, that definitely is the right colour now. Oh, that goes back on that one. Um, yeah, so um, that is a tutorial, very simple to make. Um, you could use them for uh, Notion pouches as well. Um, but if you're going to put scissors in them, make a cover for the scissors. And we also have a zippered um, pouch for your scissors as well on the channel. So um, you can go and have a look at those and, yeah. All right, let's get some stitching done. Now, I'm not going to be sticking around too long today because I do have a lot of uh, filming to do for the following week, but, oh, sorry about that, just bumping the camera, I'll give you a bit of a shake. You're awake now. So leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you're working on. I'd be lo love to hear what you're all working on. It's always interesting. I find lots of new things to do. <laughs> Probably not a good thing, but anyway. Mm, what else have I been up to? Um, in the way of crafting, I haven't really been up to too much at all because um, I've been doing some cross-stitch and, and whatnot, but um, I haven't been up to too much more because I've just been trying to get um, quilting done, you know, day job stuff, filming, all that sort of stuff because YouTube is definitely part of my job now. Um, so I have to do that as well most of that filming gets done um on a monday and tuesday but because i'm going away and i've got to get some um sewing done for project bags and organizing and all that sort of stuff i'm sort of um working a full week this week just to make sure that i've got everything done so that's why i am doing some batch filming all right, so I will come back to this thread here. I just I, I will need tweezers for it because it's just a little bit too short and they're not in here at the moment. So, um, yeah. All right. Just started that. So anyway, as I was saying, she does productivity um, sprints, so that's what I tend to do. I get on her... Um, channel and it has a timer so I um, I basically stitch or film or um, for that time and then it gives me a break so then what happens is the timer will stop and then um, we'll have a bit of a chat so then we have like a break and we go and do stuff because it gets a bit boring when you're here by yourself all the time working so I just find it easier to um, jump online and and it's live too so you're talking to her and other people in the comments and we're all sort of doing the same thing and so we've just um, she had one come up this morning I thought well that's good she'll be on because she's usually on for a little while um, I've done reading sprints that have been at eight hours and so I've spent my whole day with other people um, getting all my work done in that time. And, uh, yeah, so and she suggested that I should do it on the craft channel. So I'm, I'm like, that's a really good idea. I might think about doing that. Um, you know, so we can all sit there and have a little bit of a chat do a live stream so I was looking for different ways of doing live streams so um yeah I think I might um seriously consider that and uh yeah and it's amazing because and I've talked about this before on the channel um with cross stitching and stuff like that when um, I'm really under the pump and I want to get a lot of stitch, like I've got to get some stitching done, what I do is I set a timer 
and say I want to work on like I'm really feeling like working on four or five projects, what I do is I pick those four or five projects out, I put them in a bag and then I stick my hand in, lucky dip which one out and um, and then I'll set the timer for an hour and I will just basically head down and stitch for a solid hour and do nothing else. I generally don't have um, like I might have a book going but I generally don't have the TV on or anything like that and it's amazing what you can get done and then if I've got say I've got like three or four hours for stitching one night because I haven't planned to watch a movie or anything like that um, all my chores are done and whatnot and I will again I will grab my phone I'll put my book in I'll pull out a couple of projects and I'll set the timer and I will just solidly stitch and you get so much done like you can get so much done and I find it's like hyper focused stitching and I find it enjoyable like I'm not rushing or anything like that I'm just focused wholly and solely what I'm doing and it just it's just so rewarding at the end of it and so these um productivity and reading sprints that I do are very much the same um if I'm reading a book like it's a group read or something like that and there's going to be a discussion and I'm struggling to not struggling but you know finding that I'm getting distracted by things I will find a reading sprint and I will just you know it's sort of the same thing as what Savannah's doing like she goes down to Macca's to um, focus on her her um, studies so I'm doing the same thing I'm using those to focus on my reading or sometimes as I said I do a lot of editing um because Meredith lives in um in Tasmania and so she's on a little bit of a different time than me not much of a difference but she's on a different time than me I think she may be an hour ahead of me or an hour and a half I'm not 100% sure um but yes yeah, she, she does long um sprints so the one that she's just done <clears throat> she got on it I think it was at nine o'clock she started and it's now 20 past 10 um we've we had a bit of a chat and you know a chat in the comments and said hi to because a lot of time it's the same people so you make friends in the um comments as well so saying hi and, and stuff like that and then um we'll do a four then she set the timer for 45 minutes so she's got like and then she'll um there's a little kitty cat there which scares the bejesus out of me every time it meows at the end of the timer and then she'll her screens where her camera's switched off there's another girl with her at the moment um ren and um you can see her but meredith's obviously gone off to have a shower and have breakfast and stuff like that because she started the day um fairly early but it's possible that we'll be on all day today and so it's great it's great for me to get a lot of filming done in those that time and whatnot and I don't necessarily end my filming right when the um when it, it fi finishes so she done a 45 minute um sprint so we did 30 minutes I think actually we did 45 minutes of talking and it's still got six minutes like I can see the timer from here and um yeah so it's it's really good for my productivity like I've got here and I'm talking to you guys and I'm you know trying to get as much done as I can in that time and I turned the camera on right when she started so you know and I think that's a really good time to get a lot of stitching in I mean obviously I'll stay on she knows that I'm filming at the moment so um you know I might end up not to having a bit of a chit chat in this next one but then yeah and it gives me a break between as well so and because these are pre-recorded I can also just pause it and then we can start up again when she does the next one so but I'm really liking what we're getting done today like it's going to look amazing I'm, I'm really happy with that color that I chose to the contrasting I didn't want it to blend and on hers it looked like you can see hers hers is a very similar color and I've chose to go darker with mine so I'm sort of just making it my own um yeah so I'm liking it I'm liking it a lot and I can't wait to start to get some color onto it but I think I will just stitch down the whole tree first before I start putting leaves on um, I'm going to try and get some 
I don't know how I'll go this week, but I'm going to try and get some prepping done for the other shapes on here, so the birds and stuff like that. So I can take them away with me in a little Ziploc bag and I can maybe get some stuff done while I'm there. Um, now, I don't. I think I've mentioned this before, the leaves, if you're going to do this, uh, I would do the leaves in one piece and do the, like just cut a piece of felt and trace them out and just do it in one piece because this ha doing it this way and which is the way it's suggested in the um in the pattern is very fiddly but at the same time it is slow about slow stitching it is about not speeding through this project you know like we could be very well working on this project in six months time especially at the pace i go <laughs> oh, dear me so <laughs> you gotta laugh at yourself hey so i've still got some leaves to do i've still got these ones and i'll probably get them done tonight because um, as I said, we're probably going to have a little bit of TV and watching today. I'm, I'm filming for most of the day, but um, I won't be editing until tomorrow um, and getting them all scheduled up and whatnot. But, yeah, so I'm pretty happy. Like it took a little while to get my rhythm, um, but, yeah, I got it in the end and I'm pretty happy with how they've turned out. But that would be my biggest tip. Um, and definitely not gluing the tree down it gives it a little bit of fluidity and it makes it easier to get it to lay nice and flat whereas if it was glued down um yeah you probably wouldn't have that uh, capability of moving it and you'd end up with puckers is that going to be a problem in your tree no because it just adds to the character of the tree but i i do think that not gluing it down is the best way to go um yeah and I'm not really con overly concerned about my every stitch being exactly the same either because it's a tree and trees aren't perfect, not by a long shot. So I'm just really enjoying the process. And I hope that those that have decided to do this um, are enjoying the process as well. Um, it's, a lot of, uh, it's a lot of fun and it's a nice way to end the week with no counting and and all that sort of stuff because let's face it I do a lot of counting and a lot of math in my day during my days and yeah so we're coming up to my hundredth episode of floss tube ah, that is exciting and um we're having a giveaway for that so if you haven't seen my latest floss tube that went up yesterday the details for the um, competition, the giveaway, is in the video, so you'll have to go and find that. And, um, oh, and for those that are doing um, the reading bingo, that new round is starting um, this week. So I, I posted to the group. I don't think I did. If you would like to join my Discord, for reading it is a reading discord um i will put the link down below and you can come over and join all the bingo details are there for reading and for those that don't know what the reading bingo is and i do have a little bit of crossover between this channel and my reading channel um because i i only just recently split them at the beginning of the year originally i was talking about the books on my stitch with me and i still do occasionally talk about books and it's usually books that I have then gone and watched the movie and or the TV series. Okay, so um, I can't find Girl on a Train, the original movie, but I did find um, a different one. So I'm going, I haven't watched it yet. So I'm going to watch that and see, do the comparison um, from the book to that one. And um, yeah. So, and when I find, the, I did find the other one on YouTube, but it's a pirated copy and I really don't want to watch it. So I'm hoping that I've now searched for it like several hundred times <laughs> that it'll come back onto my Netflix. Um, yeah, but I can't find it where it's streaming in Australia. I think it is actually streaming. I did see something the other day that it was streaming on um, ABC iView. So I haven't checked that out. I don't have that app on my TV in the bedroom. So um, I'm going to suss that out today and see if that um, is there. But as I was saying, we do get a little bit of crossover between the two channels because, as I said, I just recently separated them at the beginning of the year and I'm now starting to build a following over there. So if you want to hear about all the books that I'm reading, head over to Dusty Book Sniffers. Um, just search Dusty Book Sniffers. I will come up 
and you will see me with a blue book in front of my face and it looks like I'm sniffing a book okay that's my profile picture so then you'll know you're in the right place and um yeah so if you want to come over and join the discord for the reading um challenge if you've been in the group you know what it is um come over there's a bit we've got that and i'm rolling i'm rolling the dice on my youtube channel for that so you'll need to come over on a sunday to get that roll at nine o'clock so tomorrow is our first roll for our fourth round okay um so i'm pretty excited about that it's another thing i've got to film today as well <sighs> it's all about the filming the camera just follows me everywhere <laughs> I was talking to um, Morgana Stitchy Moon last night and I said to her, I've actually set the um, set the studio up now for um, uh, filming really productively. So basically what happens is I have like my cutting mat and if you've seen my um, tutorials, you'll know that the sewing machine is um, – is on the side of it so i've got that set up there permanently now so i can just quickly do a tutorial obviously if i'm cutting fabric and stuff i have to move it but it's easy enough and then where i'm sitting right now is set up for my stitch with me slow stitching that day um and anything where like reviews or which i haven't done in a while i was actually thinking oh i haven't done that uh you know pattern review for a while but then again i haven't really brought any um like purchased any patterns where i've had to um like do them like i've been doing them on camera anyway so um yeah so all right now we're in okay i'm just gonna spin that around i was doing that a little bit backward before but hey it's, it worked <laughs> It's hard because I'm on camera and I'm talking and I'm not really concentrating on what I'm doing. So it makes it a little bit tricky and whatnot. So, yeah. But anyway, we're getting there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this, this thread off and then I'm going to call it a day and um, move on to the next thing that I need to film. Um, but you can see that I'm making progress and... Um, just hang on a sec. I just need to turn my volume down on my camera because I've just come back online. All right. Because then you'll be going, I can hear voices. <laughs> and they're not from Nicole's voices. I don't know. I don't think my microphone would pick it up, actually, because I filmed with my uh, microphone the other day and the birds were going off and I really, like, I, I could slightly hear them. So I doubt whether they'd hear really low volume. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with them. They work really well. And basically what it is, it's actually a cordless one. Like I do have um, microphones that um, I can have permanently set up when I've got a camera overhead and, and whatnot. Um, that, but they are a headphone jack and my phone doesn't have a headphone jack. It's all Bluetooth. Um, so all my um, headphones and everything are, are Bluetooth. And so I found this microphone that comes with the adapter for my phone, the wireless adapter just plugs into the power port. And so I can, and then I plug the power lead into that and then I've got it in a, um, into a portable power battery. Um which I use a lot for my lights and all that sort of stuff. It, it's really good for, for this sort of thing. But I'm hoping that the, it will mean that I'll be able to do a little bit of filming outside without too much wind noise and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a test. I'm going to be in a windy area because I'll be near the coast uh, next week and that's the perfect opportunity to um, test it. So that's what I'm going to do next week. Um, but it worked really well with blocking the sound out from the um, birds the other day because oh, they can get so noisy at this time of year. And, um, yeah, and these were pretty cheap too. They weren't super expensive. I ended up getting them off AliExpress. And as I said, they're wireless. So um, a lot of the time, you know, I'm filming, especially 
um, slow stitching Saturday and crafting with DDs, it's not such a formal um, video. And I, occasionally I'll walk away from the um, camera and keep talking and you can hear the volume drop right down. So now, at least if I walk away from the camera um, or I've got to turn around to pick something up and I'm talking and I'm mid-sentence, I don't have to stop my train of thought. It'll still just uh, pick up all the or everything that I'm saying. So it makes it a better viewing experience for you guys, um, which is what I want. And, um, yeah, so I'm really happy with them. And I got two. They, it came with a pack of two. So if I'm doing interviews with people or anything like that, I can also mic them up as well and it's just through my phone. Um, and it, and basically because the, the transmitter that goes into my phone is drawing power, that's why you plug it into a pa battery pack. And I've been on for 45 minutes and I haven't even used 9% um, of my battery pack. So that's a good thing. I know that it's going to last. And the mic, it has a six-hour... Um, battery in it so i'm pretty pretty happy so i'm thinking that i'm going to get a couple more of those and just have them aside so if things go wrong or they get damaged or they drop and you know these things are quite sensitive so um yeah i'm just trying to make sure that um i uh have a supply there so it doesn't interrupt with my filming or change the quality of my um audio and I'm pretty happy, like, I am a loud talker anyway. You can't come from a ethnic household and not be a loud talker because if you don't talk loud, you don't get heard. It's that simple. <laughs> um, and so I'm already a loud talker, so I can actually project my voice quite well. Um, so now I'm going to have to I, – I noticed in that video I actually had to turn the volume right down, like adjust the volume of the – the um, audio because I was talking as if I still had to talk like project my voice to the microphone um, and now I don't so I'm and I'm hoping that that will help with um, my throat getting dry and stuff when I'm doing videos which means that I'll be able to stay on a bit longer for live streams and all that sort of stuff so yeah all right we are cooking with gas now it's a perfect day for stitching today like I'm sort of yeah I might um I wasn't planning on doing any sort of stitching today only what I was doing on camera um but I'm thinking that I might spend the afternoon doing a little bit more on this because it is a perfect day for it it is cold wet and miserable here although it has been that way <laughs> Um, the last couple of days it's not super cold but it's still like it's a cozy day but then you know like I'm torn do I read my book I've still got um I'm reading The Martian at the moment by Andy Weir which I don't read a lot of sci-fi but um earlier in the year I read Project Hail Mary so if you're not into sci-fi it is a great book to read it's not overly technical it was quite witty uh, there was a lot of laugh out loud moments and stuff like that so I thoroughly in um enjoyed that and I thought well I'll pick up this and I found a copy at the local um secondhand store here and it was $2.50 and it was in brand new condition like it, it pretty much looks like it's only been read once and then just donated and I admire people that can do that I struggle to part with my books <laughs> I do occasionally part with them but I struggle anyway I well I thought great that's perfect now I've got Project Hail Mary and his and um yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, um, I'm, I'm about three quarters of the way through the book, I think, and um, I don't have much to go. And, um, yeah, so I might end up just curling up and finishing off that maybe this afternoon and not do any stitching. I don't know. We'll see how we go. They're both very, very good um, things to do at <laughs> the end of the day. Um, yeah. <laughs> so... But as I said, I do have a lot of filming today, so it just depends how long that takes. But we are starting to get to the end of this thread, which is going to bring us down to the bottom here, I think, of the fork of the tree. And so I'm going to end the video there and um, continue on with my day. Uh, as I said, leave me a comment down below. Tell me, have you started doing a wool felt project yet? Are you? What's, what did you stitch on while we were here together today? 
And don't forget to join me again and next week for um, some more slow stitching. And if you've not yet subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. And then that way we, uh, you will get notifications. And of course, it's unthreaded right at the last second. All right, I will have to rethread that and get that stitch. But I am going to call it a day, as I was just saying, and finish off. Um, these threads to the back but you can see there that it's coming along nicely it's not going to take long at all once I get into the swing of it you know like that's taken what 45 minutes to do um, yeah so that's not too bad and we just have we've gone up here and this one and now it's done so technically I should be able to um, get this another 45 minutes into this for next week maybe a bit more we'll see how we go and um, yeah so that's it for me today. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Hope you get lots of stitching in and I will see you all again next time. Bye for now.